Hey guys, how's it going? We're just in the skinning shed. Um, I'm just, I got a few beavers to do up, but I'm packing up some fur too. But I just wanted to go through here and, and show you, you know, because I got a whole whack of questions on that issue with the game wardens um, and the asking what certified traps mean and, and whatever. Okay, so here is the list of, of stuff. So you look at Martin here, which, which was the issue. You've got your Belial's, the 120, the Super X 120 and Super X 160. BMI, Magnums, Coral, Coral, LDL's, the Magnums only, the Magnums only, Northwoods 155, the Rudy 120 Magnum, 160, Rudy 160 Plus, and then the Savage 05's, Sixes, and the C120 Magnums. Then you got your Victor Woodstream 155, and then a couple other things from Europe and whatnot. Um, and then Fisher is basically the same traps, only a little bit bigger size. So, you know, what it boils down to, here's a, a few of the traps I pulled out. Now, here we have a uh, Is, I believe this one's a Bridger. Yeah, a Bridger 220. Now that trap there, not legal for Fisher or Martin, but it is for raccoons and for otters, I believe. Certified but not yet mandatory. Where's Otter? Maybe it's not for Otter. So that trap's only good for raccoons. Okay, now all these other traps. Okay, so now this is a Belial. Good trap for a little bit. Another one. Another one. This here is a Duke, I believe. Yeah, those things are not good for any of those target animals of mine. Now, I wonder if they're good for coons. Yeah, Duke 160s, Duke 220s. You know, problem being, if I trap out in the farmland, then I'll have some coon. But if I don't, so I guess, I don't know what the heck. I either get rid of all these traps because to me they all look alike unless you know like I said the only way you can tell what they are is you look on this dog and I've got my glasses on right now and I don't and I can barely tell what the heck they are and I don't wear glasses out in the bush okay so that's a bridge for sure but the dukes you I can't you know once they're dyed you have absolutely no idea you cannot read any of that stuff on there now this here is uh, made in Korea, so I'm guessing that's a Duke, because that's where they're made, I believe. Yeah, that's a Duke. Not, not certified for any of the animals that I, I trap, except... Because okay, so mink, see, mink is species not listed under the agreement. Traps certified. Any jaw type body get gripping trap or leg hold that exerts a clamping force. Well, they that must be a typo because it says muskrat, but it's listed under mink, but underwater and maintains the animal underwater. So, oh man, you know, it is just so, and then you got all this stuff in Aboriginal and Japanese or whatever that, I don't know what the it is. So then you go somewhere here. But so now I don't know, does that tell me 
because it's not in there anywhere, does that tell me that there's no trap that you can use for mink on land or just that it's there's no trap that's certified? See, you got beaver, fisher, marten, muskrat on land, muskrat underwater. Any lynx weasel. Then stuff that's okay. Okay, here's killing heads. These are not yet mandatory for you, so you do have the. No, you do not have the bridgers in there. Oh, so bridgers only used for coon. And so I can hang up all those 220s and 160s and use them for coon. I don't have to get rid of them if I ever... So I, I, I'm going to have to get a hold of the game board and find out whether this means that only... I can only set traps for mink underwater or that hold them underwater. See, and, and does that, now, does that mean that the trap has to be set underwater, or does the trap have to hold them underwater? Any jaw type body gripping or leg hold that exerts a clamping force on a muskrat or mink in this instance, and maintains the animal underwater. But it doesn't say whether the trap has to be set underwater. And I'm going to, okay. Now this is for leg hold or foothold traps. They say leg hold, but we try not to say that anymore. Um, mink, you know, all of them, drowning sets only, drowning sets only. Okay, so now I, I gotta go and get that clarified before I can find out if I can use these dukes on land, because they do kill the animals, I've caught tons, but I just, you know, if it's they haven't been tested and uh, certified doesn't mean I can't use them for something that has had no testing done on them. I don't know but we're talking a couple of the guys were asking you know about we we're talking the other night on these uh, primeness charts you see here Manitoba has this in there which is a cool thing in their trapping guide and it gives you the uh, under and over prime and then the dark is the peak primeness. Um, so beaver, you know, just from the first week of January to the last week of March is their peak. Coyotes peak is middle of November to the middle of January. Fisher, fox, and marten pretty much the same thing, the middle of November to the middle of February or January. And muskrat, their peak is from the middle of February till the middle of April. And then you go down with the otter, the peak is, you know, up until January 1st, like I have mentioned a hundred times, uh, I always trap them early. And then you go down to coon and so on and so forth. Um, but this is kind of cool. So if anybody thinks, you know, that trapping is not uh, dropping by the wayside, and, or trapping doesn't follow fur prices, which everybody knows they do, just take a peek at this. Beaver in, this is the average for the five years, 98 to 2003, 23,000 basically a year, and just watch it drop as the beaver prices drop. To last year, 5,000 beavers compared to 23,000. Now, Martin, you know, basically 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 21,000, and then down to last year when the prices dropped off somewhat, down to 12,000. Muskrats. You know, 30,000, 20, 1, 31, 22, 
down to 18. And wolves are always fairly consistent. You know, 259. So, yeah, it's a, that's kind of a cool little list that they have in there, too. I mean, it's a neat, neat information guide, but man, this whole, it is just so hard to follow this certification stuff. But I guess if I just go with buying Belial's and LDL's or Savio's, then I'm going to be safe. So, guaranteed, I won't be buying anything other than those three traps right now because they seem to be good for every animal, no matter what. See, even, you know, the Savageau uh, 11 inch, 11 by 11s are allowed for lynx, but the 12 by 11s are not okay. Now, it doesn't mean they're not okay, it just probably means that they weren't tested. You know, so if I, you know, accidentally throw out 11 by 12 inch instead of an 11 by 11, I would get charged, or I would get fined for it. Um, you know, so you, boy, you, you just gotta make darn sure it's <laughs> unreal. Um, and beaver, on land and underwater. You got, you know, basically every trap going right up to the Woodstream Victors, but you know, it doesn't, it doesn't tell you, like I've got you know, those Connie bears that I've had for 30 years and, you know, some of them are the straight jawed ones still and it doesn't say anything in here about whether they're allowed or not, so but they are a, a Victor Connie bear 330 so are they allowed, even though they're not the modified ones? Anyways basically that's a uh, that's the information on on that for what you guys all you guys were asking me. So I guess those uh, I've got you know five dozen of those Duke traps, probably of different sizes that I can only use for raccoon. And I'll find I'm going to ask them pointedly whether they're okay for mink. And and then uh, I'll go from there. But anyways, like I said, I'm doing some some fur packing up to because it's got to go in in a week here's a one pile of 40 beavers here these are you know all good size ones We've got another pile here that's that's 30 there and then I've got better than 10 more big ones on the boards here so there'll be another pile of 40 there then I've got some mediums here and then a, a bunch of small ones so um, I think I've got I still got 30 beavers in the freezer which are just gonna go I'll, uh, I'll get them on the next sale and and then whatever else beavers I, I trap between now and then and uh, oh and the other thing guys if any of you are I know I've got rid of one wolf that somebody wants, a black one. He's uh, it's going out. He's already ordered it. But I talked to the guys in North Bay today, and they're telling me, you know, or they said that you know sometimes those black wolves, you know, go as high as you know six hundred and fifty dollars. So I'm just thinking that, and and no, this is not just so I can pay my fine when I get it, but. I might just send them, you know, because they're st when I was getting one or, you know, here and there, I could get rid of them pretty easy, but now I got a bunch of them in the shed here, so they might just go to the sale. And this white one too, I'm just going to check it out, you know, and yeah, the belly is not very clear. They said the clear ones on the belly go well, but that's kind of not a, a clear one, so might not send that. But anyways, if there is anybody that's looking for one, let me know so I don't send it away. And um, I know I gave somebody a price down in the States. But remember, the price I gave is 
in Canadian dollars and right now with the American dollar being a, a buck 40 makes a huge difference so it'd be a good time to you know say let me know if you want it so I can uh, put it aside and not send it away alrighty but anyway so there's the beavers and then here I've got all the rats I think there's a hundred and two in there um, my stove is pumping out some heat right now and it's going to shut her down in a second not that far down um, oh and I noticed I watched a couple videos this morning and now any of you guys that have these airtight wood heaters you know like the one fellow I was watching he was, had a stick and he was trying to get the lid off because these lids get very hot just attach a piece of hay wire like this out to your handle and it just I mean you never ever will have to worry about a hot handle again you know it, it works awesome but anyways like I said then you, we've got our our beavers our rats you know here's the two fox that I I got this year the one fisher is hiding in here somewhere too yeah, there. There she is, a little fisher, a little female. And then uh, the Martin, 37 Martins. I might get the odd one t still in the fisher sets that I still have out there. But then hiding in here is, you know, my otters. And, uh, and there's mink in here too. There's not a lot of mink, only there's five mink because you, you probably know I didn't set a lot for me and a, a few weasels in there but anywho so that stuff's all going to get sent away and here's a otter I did up last night big otter so that's uh Looks like I'll have just over, well, I don't know if I'm going to send these little beavers, but I'll have around 100 beaver to send on this sale. The, uh, you know, 37 Martin, a couple fox, a couple, or one fisher, a dozen otters. So, anyways, other than that, uh, oh, and my three coyotes, of course. My whole three coyotes that I was able to get before. Before the day, a darn dog got caught. And... Anyways, alrighty. But I just wanted to, there's so many questions about this trap certification and stuff. You know, mostly from guys from the States because they don't have to deal with that stuff. But just wanted to show you that. And, and we'll, uh, oh, what's. Wolf, bobcat, raccoon, mink. Yeah. So, alrighty guys, catch you later. I'm gonna get those beavers done. Hey guys, I just wanted to mention too, uh, I forgot to mention it a second ago. I, uh, I was just talking to the guys at FHA and I asked them about that letter that a lot of guys got from NAFA about not sending the small beavers. And the guys at FHA said, yeah, that's uh, true. We talked to a lot of people and we've told them, send them here, we'll sell them for you. So if you guys got little beavers and you're normally with Napa, go ahead and send them to FHA. They'll, they'll get rid of them or they'll try at least. Alrighty. Catch you later. Bye. What is that um, on the chicken's chin? On the chicken chin? I don't even know what that is. What's a chicken chin? I mean, uh, the... I mean, the... That, uh, the, the beaver? beaver's chin. That there? No. Which is here? No. Here? Uh-huh. That's muscle. Can you so, smash it again? There we go. So we don't know what that jingling was, eh? You, you think it was Santa Claus? It's supposed to sound like that, the jingle
Santa Claus. Oh. Maybe it was Santa Claus then. Santa never comes on a little roof like this. Santa never comes on a humongous come... roof. Oh, he only comes on hum humongous roofs? He doesn't come on a roof like the shed? Mm -hmm. It doesn't have a Christmas tree. Oh. That's it. Well, look, there's a little Christmas tree right over there. It doesn't have any decorations on it, but it's still a Christmas tree, right? You don't think that's a good Christmas tree? You need a bigger one. You need a bigger one. Oh. I don't know. I still think Santa Claus has got a pretty good gig when he comes, uh, only has to work one day a year. Like I said, I think I am going to get a job like Santa Claus. No, you can't. Because you don't have all those stuff. What stuff? The... the the beard? The jingle bells and the beard and you need to grow a beard. That, that how big it take it took forever for Santa's beard for to keep. You sure? What if he just bought a beard? Sixteen nine. No, we don't buy beards. Oh, it took sixteen nine to, what? Just sixty nine de days. Sixty nine days to grow his beard? Yeah, I don't got that long. Maybe I can be Santa's helper instead and still just work one day a year. Uh, That'd be alright. I could handle that. Well, well, what if I miss you? What if you miss me? Oh, yeah. Well then, but it's only one day. So I could be here six, 364 days and just be there one day. Then you wouldn't miss me so much, right? Okay. That'll work. Well, you will need to help the elves make toys. I'll need to help the elves make toys? Okay, I can do that. I can make toys. Uh, Maybe I can help them skin beavers. They don't skin beavers. The elves don't skin beavers? Why not? Because Santa only... Are they lazy? No. They don't skin beavers. Because okay. they're... Because they're... They make the toys. Well, they just for make the Santa. toys. And so Santa skins his own beavers. Yeah. No. Well, maybe I can skin beavers for Santa. Then, no, huh? they just cook it. Oh, they, they just, just cook food. They just cook food. Uh -huh. They don't catch their own. Oh. Well, maybe I'll just be Santa Claus then. No. I, I can, because we can catch those deers that ran across the road the other day and use them, right? Can we do that? Well, we need to find a magic potion. We need to find a magic potion? For what? Well, we're going to get too lazy for it. Oh, we're going to get too lazy? And I would just fall asleep in 20 hours. You'll fall asleep in 20 hours? Uh-huh. But... And that's 20 hours away. Oh, what's... Well, what's the... What's and the magic... And you will start... What's the magic potion for? To fly the deers. Oh, to fly the deers, right. Mm -hmm. And you can't kill the deers. No, we, well, no. how could don't, you if, if they have to fly? Don't even think about killing them. Don't even them. think about killing them? Okay, I won't. That is for sure, I won't. But, well, but, how can't you... But, well, but you need to tell me then, where is the store that has the magic potion? Uh, it has a magic potion sign. So everybody know it's the magic potion store. Oh, it has a, a sign saying that it has magic potions? Mm -hmm. Well, that still doesn't tell me where it is. It only tells me it has a sign. So where do you think it is? You said it's how many, how far away is it? Uh, 20 hours away. 20 hours away. So that would put it, is it 20 hours east or 20 hours west? What's west? West is that way, east is that way. Which way is it? That way. West? Well, 20 hours are going to put us probably right in Vancouver or out in the middle of the ocean. Hmm. I don't know. Do you think it's in the middle of the ocean? That's we not need, a good place for a store. We need a different... What else did you say? Oh, maybe east? That way? No. That way? Yeah, that would put us down by... Uh, Lots of stores. By uh, Sault Ste. Marie. 
20 Daddy. hours. 20 hours that I said? That's yeah. not the right way, I said. Oh, okay. Maybe north towards North Pole. Uh, yeah. That's where it would be? Hmm. Well, North Pole is up in the sky, I told you. No, North Pole is not in the sky. No, it's in... No, it's... Where Santa lives, right? North Pole. Where Santa Claus lives, isn't it? Why are you putting that on there? Because I need it to skin the beaver. Can you stand up? Uh -huh. If you want to. What is those? What are those things? Those are beaver casters. I thought they were guts. You thought they were guts? No, beaver casters. Uh, they're worth some money too. Actually, they're probably worth as much as a beaver is. But hopefully not. Why do we don't buy beaver food? Why don't we buy beaver food? Because if we want to eat beaver, we just use some of Papa's beavers. We don't have yes. to buy it. Well, what if the store runs out and we, and they need you to skin lots? Boy, I better get busy then, shouldn't I? Mm -hmm. And they won't go to the store anymore. Is there no beaver meat there, or no meat at all? No meat at all. Oh, that's crazy. And what if they do not eat you, and you will be sad? Yeah, well then, then I guess I'll no. just be sad. Uh, well, you can make lots of Yeah, see, that's the good thing. I can just go out in the bush and catch more beavers then, right? Well... What if the store runs out of lots and lots of food and they need somebody that has lots of food and they don't have this? Well, then they'll have to buy beaver off me and then sell it in the store, won't they? No. Let's just, how about we just give it to them? Can we just give it to them? No. Just give it to them and... To the people that want that! Oh, and get, eat it. just give it to the people, not to the store. So they don't have you to. You mean the house? Yeah, just give it to their house? No. What? Give it to the people that wants that. Yeah, I know. That's what I mean. You want me to do that instead? Uh-huh. Well, what about the poor animals and birds out in the bush that Papa gives it to? Then they won't have any to eat. But well, people eating are more important, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. And you can let you see. Um, a pile and the birds will eat it. Yeah. And don't let the animals that, the rest animals that live in the trees, because what if they get too hungry and they eat that? Ooh. You think they would do that? And what if they come in here and eat all of them? And eat all my beavers? Ooh. That's what will happen to them right there. What if the pretty ones that I will like, that eats it... <laughs> Why do you only like the pretty ones? You don't like the ugly ones? Uh-huh. I don't like the ugly ones. I only like sparkly horses. You only like Even sparkly... Even Doc. Even Doc? You only like sparkly horses, but you don't like the ugly animals. Well, I huh. do like Doc. You like ducks, too? Doc! Oh, Doc. Yeah, you like and, Docky. And cute little duckies. And cute little duckies, yeah. Do you like cute little duckies? They I taste great, yeah. Not that. No, not that. <laughs> I wasn't talking about that. I was talking about how cute. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. I, I was just, just talking about it. Give me a kiss. I don't know how you're doing it. You're crazy. You're crazy. You're a crazy monkey. Why can't we eat the... Want to eat this beaver? You're hungry? No, Papa's going to... I got pork chops in the sink. I'm going to go cook supper when I get done this. 
Well, I'm almost done, so why don't you just wait? Or do you want to run over to the house? I can call your mom and tell her that you're coming. Or tell Nana. You want you want to go over there now? Or are you going to wait for me? Don't push that, please. I was just going to get a little closer. Yeah, I know. I don't need a little closer. Uh, why does the beaver look so strange now? Because he's got almost no fur left on him, doesn't he? Go like that, flip them over, and we're almost done. But now we cut the casters out. This is where the beaver casters are, right in there, see? I want to see the beaver caster. Okay, see, right there? Ew. Nice, eh? I said e. Nice, eh? E. Ew, said, that means nice. I ew said, means that's beautiful. I mean, ew. Ew means really nice. Ew. Ew means super nice. No, it means yuck. It means yuck? Uh-huh. You sure? I'm sure. Okay, if you say so. Okay. You do seem to know what you're talking about with I this ew to, stuff. I want to see another one. That's, there's only one in each, one set in each beaver, so. Mm. Pop will catch another beaver tomorrow. have any more right now to skin. We're almost done. Don't push it please. Remember you gotta listen when pop is when you're in the shed because there's too many things in here that can hurt you. So you don't go making up your own rules, right? A deer. Hi there, Lexi. That was that looked like your thumb. That was my thumb. Oh, you talking? To, what? Thumbs can't talk. They're not alive. Oh, Just that, that one was talking. Look. It's. Hi, Lexi. What are you doing? See? It talked just like you. Oh, it just talked with me. I pretended. I just see. Joking with me. I'm just joking around with you. And I don't really like jokes. And you don't really like jokes? I just like getting people to tickle me. Oh, you just like getting people to tickle you? Ah. So much people don't tickle me. But there's so many people out there that won't tickle you? There's some people that don't want to tickle me and I want them to, but they don't. And who is that? I'll have a talk with them if you want. Oh, I don't know. Oh, you don't know? Just some people? Some people, well, sometimes they say, No, Mom, no, Mom, stop tickling me. That's crazy, isn't uh, it? What is that thing? Why is it pointing at me? What thing? That thing. What, the camera? It's just a camera. You know what a camera is, don't you? I don't remember the camera. It's a video camera. Yeah. Who's in there? You see anybody in there? Me. Just you? Oh. Why is it not pointing at you and me? I don't know. So we can have a great video. We can have a great video that way? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi everybody, I'm Lexi's Papa. See? Uh, well, I didn't be in the picture. Do you need to be in the picture? I didn't be in the video. Yeah? No, you're in there. Hi, Lexi. How are you? Uh, can't you say... Oh, here comes Lexi. Oh, okay. Hey, look. Here comes Lexi. Hi, how are you today? 
We got big problem. Uh, we got a big problem. Who are we gonna send that to? Well, I don't know. You want to give it to mom, or do you want to put it on the YouTube? Mom. Okay. Well, maybe we'll put it on YouTube, and then mom can watch it on there. Uh, and then everybody, all your, all your fans, say hi to all my fans. Hi to all my fans. Good girl. I'm having a good time here with Papa, just skinning beavers. I have a good time here with Papa, skinning beavers. Uh, now we're going to go. Papa. Now we're going to go in the house. Papa, and... wait, was a little noisy. Pardon? It was a little noisy. It was a little noisy. What, oh, sorry. Okay, go ahead. I was moving the traps. Go ahead and talk yeah. while I'm. And I love you, Mama. Good girl. Bye. Mama. Mama, I'm done. You're done? Okay. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.